a request for Drew Kendall uh, yeah. today. Just talk about him. Is he moving into Alex's position, or are you going to use him on, on different spots in the line? Yeah, we, we, we hope so. Um, you know, he's working there right now. He's put on a lot of weight. He looks great. Smart, really smart, strong, and very athletic. Um, you know, we thought getting Drew out of high school that he had a chance to be a good player. Um, I think that even more now after being around him. I think he's got a huge future, and I think he'll be a huge part of our whole line this year. Really excited about him. Did Alec have a big influence on him? I, I believe so. That's a question I would when you do when you do get Drew. I think Alec, Alec had an influence on all those guys. Yeah. I mean, great leader, uh, worked hard, did the right things on and off the field. So I'd imagine that I definitely. Just about the techniques. Does he get the shotgun down? Is he working with Phil on stuff like you know? Just yeah, you know, he did it. He did it all spring. He did it in bowl prep. Um, I don't see any issues with it on the field right now. So knock on wood, all the snaps we know. I got, got a bad snap experience in my two years, as you can remember, but um, he's doing a good job with it, really good. And how's he working with Dave, and the new line coach? Great. Um, Gooch is doing a really good job. Okay. Um, I just said that out there today. I'm really proud of the old line and we yeah. ran the ball today as, about, as well as we have. Um, so from a head coach's standpoint, that was really encouraging. We ran the ball really well today, protected well. Those are young guys that haven't played a lot of football against more of a veteran defense compared to who they are to more of a veteran defensive group. Um, so I was encouraged. I think it really mixes well. And I think the guys would tell you the same when you talk to them. When Christian goes down, you know, is it, it's not as simple as finding a new right guard, right? Like you're probably trying all different combinations. So what is that process like right now? Yeah, I mean, Christian goes down and it's, you're potentially losing the best offensive guard in college football, right? Um, so then you look at who you have. We have certain guys we can move inside. You know, like a guy like Ozzie's played. Uh, Ozzie played inside last year against Virginia Tech, right? He started a guard, but Ozzie's a good tackle. Um, Kevin Klein can play tackle. Kevin Klein can play guard. Um, there's some freshmen who can do both. We got, I think we brought in a couple really good true freshmen, um, which would be good for the future. So right now, it's when you look out there, and you probably can see a little bit because you're around a practice, which is awesome. Um, probably see different guys all over the place. We have to find the right mix, and that's what training camp's going to be for the O-line. Can you talk a little bit about the progression you've seen so far from Eric Moorhead? Yes. Um, from where he is today versus where he was last training camp, it's, it's night and day. Um, but again, that goes back to he played one year of, of quarterback really in high school because COVID took away his senior season. So you're looking at a guy who played really one year of high school football, came in last year trying to learn a a college system, um, hard, right? It doesn't get a lot of reps in training camp because you have Phil, Dennis, and Emmett, so you get very few, very few reps to play. And then all of a sudden, Phil gets hurt, Dennis is the starter, we try to get Emmett ready, and, and we kind of got him there eventually, right, by that Syracuse game, but then Phil came back. Um, the confidence, the understanding of the offense, the understanding of the position, I mean, you've seen him, he's big, he can throw the ball. Um, Phenomenal presence, smarts. It, it, it's not even close. Is he ready to be the guy right now? Time will tell, right? Uh, he's got he's got a ways to go. It, it, night and day, and I credit that to him for how hard he's worked. We're talking to Sheeta in a little bit. I know you said he was banged up last year. Uh, where is he at now, and what can he bring to this defense line? I think he's coming along really well. We missed him, um, and I'll say it. I, I just I remember watching him in that Georgia Tech game before he got hurt. In those few games prior to that, he, he was really coming into his own. He gives us pass rush ability. He's really good against the run. He's athletic. He gives us size and length. Um, he has a new confidence about him, a toughness to him. He's an, and you guys have talked to him, he's an incredible person. Um, with him on the field, we're, we're definitely different. And I think we have some young guys, as, as you've seen. We have some young, tall, long guys um, that need some development. Um, but we're going to count on Sheeta. I know you're a defensive guy, but... I'm both now. Yeah, Remember both, me? right, right, both now. Yeah, um, we, got, we got to stop saying that. Me too. I'm, um, I'm a team guy now, Andy. Obviously, big emphasis. What's up, man? I'm right on time. He's fine. Right. Yeah, Rich decided <laughs> to start. Rich wanted to start early. He's on Bermuda time. What did I miss? You missed yeah, my Bermuda time. Is that Bermuda time? Any wild stuff? No, right. nothing right. wild. They can, they can fill you in. Right. That sounds good. Um, obviously, big emphasis this year for the defense is pass rush and stopping the run. But in camp, those are two hard things to kind of simulate because there's not a lot of hitting, at least at this point. How do you kind of achieve that balance when you're working on those things defensively, but 
you know you got to protect guys too. We got you can stop the run. I mean, we're going to run the ball in practice, half of practice. Um, and you know, again, we'll be better at stopping the run. I think with our personnel who's back and how we're going to call the game. Last year, Tim called the game a certain way, um, with our emphasis on getting teams into third down, playing great in the red zone, and not giving up explosives. Uh, so are we going to be a little bit more aggressive in certain situations? Um, but to me, it's about point score. It's, you know, your, your three in pass defense and your this in run defense. It's, what are you in total defense? And I think we're in the top 30, right, or whatever it was. Um, it depends how you call the game. You want to be really aggressive to stop the run. And you try to cut stuff up and blitz. Then all of a sudden a guy gets out of his gap. And what happens? You give up an explosive, right? That's how you score touchdowns with explosives. I think with our personnel, especially in the middle, with the guy like Booze back, that's going to help. He's a big, strong guy who can anchor. Um, Cam Horsley's back. I think you guys are going to see him maybe too. I mean, he got much bigger, stronger. He's going to be more of a presence in there. Um, and then we have some younger guys who are bigger and wider. And I think the future of the D-line is really bright. Um, do we have to stop the run? There's no doubt. Will we pick and choose to try to get some more things going? Yeah, I think we will. As far as pass rush goes, yeah, it is hard because you can't finish on the quarterback. So with a guy like Phil, for example, like today, half the D-line's yelling at me because I'm not blowing sacks when they're close to sacks. Mm -hmm. But I have to make that quick decision. Are they going to get him down right there? Are they going to get Malik down right there? Right? So let's make him strain make it as hard as we can. Maybe we got to fire him up a little bit by not calling sacks. But it is hard to finish. We can't go live on those guys. Um, but you got to do the best you can. you got to strain to finish, get as close as you can so you keep the quarterback safe. And then you see Coach Vio and the way he drills and how intense he is and how they finish. He's a really good coach. And uh, we got the players in the scheme to do it. Long answer, but hopefully you get some out of it. How's the fight for Isaiah's position going on? Isaiah Graham Mobley? Yeah. It's great. Um, Joe and Vinny? You got Vinny, you got Cam, you got uh, Bryce, you got JB, you got guys in there competing. Um, and you know, in our defense, sometimes we'll have two linebackers out there, sometimes we'll have three. So they're all going to play. Right. And I think we, we finally have more depth in there. And I don't know if you've seen Cam Arnold looks great. And you see him out there, he's long. He's probably 230 now. Guy, guy was a high school corner. Played safety. Now it's his second year at backer, so he sees things more. I mean, Vinny is just Mr. Reliable, knows what's going on. He's kind of like Max. You know, when you yeah. think about, you guys remember Max? That's, that's how Vinny is. He sees stuff. He can line guys up. And then you get Bryce and JB who can fly and have length to them. Um, we're going to use them all. We're going to need them all. Is anyone asked about the offensive line? Yeah. What do you think? Yes. yes. <laughs> you th I think that's going to be asked about for the rest of the year on every. What would you like to know about them? What was asked already? Just how they're coming along. Drew uh, Kendall. Oh, gonna who's going to play guard? Who's going to play tackle? Um, how we're going to mix and match people? Uh, how does Coach Gooch relate to them? You got anything different? No, that sounds good. Um, I can I answer it again if you want to after. <laughs> no, it's fine. I'll send you the points. Um, kind of a random question, but special teams, yeah. Hunter. Uh, I know in the spring, Danny and Sam were kind of going at it. Yep. Uh, is that still going on? Yeah. Is that a position battle you're focusing on? Yeah, definitely. Um, Danny's got such a strong leg. He can kick off, he can kick field goals, he can punt. I mean, he's hit some bombs. And, um, you know, Sam got here in the spring, and I think it was a little new for him, hadn't really played our style of football, and now he's got his confidence. He's really talented, really. So I, and the other day I showed him the team meeting, like a ridiculous hang time by Danny, followed by an even better hang time by Sam. So I'm definitely getting him juiced up. But they're really close and they work together. That's a decision that we'll have to make as we get closer. But it's nice to have two options. And regardless, I mean, Danny, if he's not the starting partner, which he could be, he can do a bunch of other stuff too. I guess one more about Christian, just how is he handling this mentally and what's he doing to help Christian? Yeah. He, you know, that's probably a question deep down you got to ask for him. Yep. You know, he's a guy we're trying to talk to a bunch, um, get around the guys as much as we can. Um, you know, I'm sure he has his moments. I could lie to you and just say he's probably, but I'm sure he wishes he was out there a lot, and we wish he was out there. Um, but I think you'll learn from it, right? Adversity, life's hard. And um, you overcome moments like that, and you become better and harder and tougher. And I think he'll do that. Christian is Christian's become like Christian's been my guy since he got here. And seeing him mature and grow the way he has is what you love about college football. And because his growth and maturity and leadership 
is also something we miss probably as much as we miss him on the field. And it wasn't like that when we got here. And he is such an awesome guy. So uh, maybe one of these days you guys can get him too. Anything else? All right. Thanks, guys. Thank Appreciate you. it. See you guys. Yep. We'll give you the audio.